Malka to me symbolizes an entire production system. It's not just one aspect. It symbolizes an entire production system that is ecologically sustainable, uh, that is socially desirable, uh, and ultimately will be consumer friendly as well. So what we're trying to do in the Malkha initiative is to go back to some of those basic principles and to use some of the skills and the inherited strengths that we have of the cotton textile industry and to combine those traditional skills with the modern skills of today. And with this we want to develop the kind of cotton textile industry which is again going to be a world beater in the 21st century. The Mocha project is really uh, an idea that's much bigger than uh, creating fashion, creating consumer products. It's becoming a very hot selling item for us. It's also a fabric that you can work in different ways because of this of its fold. It's like Eureka, this is the fabric. Malka process, unlike uh, the conventional process, we treat the cotton very gently. Uh, Ganan's garda only touches the cotton 4% of what the conventional guarding does. At the heart of spinning is the operation of individualizing every fiber and this is a very complicated process in the conventional industry. I think when I first saw Malka a couple of years back, the most exciting thing for me was that each strand of the fabric or each yarn was very visible. It's more dynamic fabric, it just and then technically it's much better. What sets micro spinning apart is we simplify the process inherently by avoiding the act of compressing cotton into bales. And that gives us a huge starting advantage. So we retain all the natural qualities of the cotton because uh, the garment keeps its shape, it keeps its absorbency and its colour holding. So in this cotton is quite different from the cotton that is made with yarn spun in the mills. The cotton as it's hand woven and spun through the mocha process has a wonderful handmade quality to it. Since the very onset of uh, sustained Gudat apparel range, We've been using Malka fabric extensively. Uh, there was this coarse fabric which was extremely soft to touch but had this amazing textural quality. We are totally colonized in our heads. We see technology as labor replacing rather than labor enhancing. What Malka technology aims to do is not so much reduce the human involvement as to make the involvement more creative by freeing the person from all activities that are less creative which a machine can take care of by itself. And that is the work which uh, Uzrama through Malka has been doing on uh, how to create good quality fabrics at the level of the village which use less energy per meter uh, of being produced. It has that springiness and vitality and that's what uh, the big designers seem to like. We got the fabric, we chose the colours and it's been a joy to work with. There's a magic, there's a life that comes into these fabrics. Especially in the Mocha project, you can see how the three different designers have used this product and really transformed it and it becomes something completely different. Our basic intention is not only to make very good cotton cloth, uh, but it is to give that whole industry, the ownership of the cotton textile industry, back into the hands of the community. They should no longer be just the lower end workers. Uh, I got fascinated uh, by Malka uh, when I saw the nature of the production process. Uh, and I also uh, was very impressed with the quality of the cloth that got uh, produced with it. So from the farmer's point of view, having a mill in the village enables them to sell their cotton 
very advantageously, eliminates the role of middlemen and distant market. It provides women part-time employment, adds to their uh, household incomes. I think it gives practical shape to what Gandhiji used to talk about, uh, which is to uh, industrialize, but industrialize in a manner that is consonant with our traditions and with local resource endowments. People seem to see society in the shape of a pyramid with the disadvantage at the bottom. And people talk about the fortune at the bottom of the pyramid. Well, I think that's a bit cheeky because what that really means is making money off the disadvantaged. I don't see society like that, certainly not in an ideal way. It might be like that today. But that's what should change. Society should be more or less on a flat plane with people being more or less equal. And that's what we're working towards in our small way in the Malkai Initiative.